Trees have many benefits in a landscape, and when you install one, you hope that it's going to be there for a long time. We're going to share the University of Florida recommendations to get your tree off to a healthy start. When you go out in your yard, you want to be able to pick a spot for your tree. So remember, right plant, right place. You'll go out and survey the area, make for sure there's nothing around, nothing above, and you want to be able to put your tree in an area that is going to help it thrive and survive. So remember, you want to check for anything around so that the root systems can grow out. You're also going to want to check for anything that is above and make for sure that it's not going to run into any power lines or other trees. If you have any questions about utilities before you put the shovel in the ground, you want to dial 811 to make for sure that you have your utilities underground marked. So planting the tree is more than just digging a hole. We need to prepare this root ball and look at that first so that we don't set this plant too deeply and it struggles through the first few years of its life. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lean the plant on its side and loosen up this pot and gently slide it out of this pot. Now when we do that, this gets us a chance to see if we need to loosen this root ball if there's any large roots that we need to cut, like that one there, or any root bound plants or roots that we need to loosen up. What we also need to find on this is the root flare. And this trunk is really deep in this root ball, so we're actually gonna have to remove a lot of this soil up top so that the root flare is right at the surface. Now once we found our root flare, that's the point where the trunk and the roots meet, uh, we can see that we had to remove quite a bit of soils from this. So then we dig a hole that's the appropriate depth so that this plant's not set too deep. We want this root ball to be about 10% above grade. Uh, so you can use a shovel here uh, to measure from the surrounding soil. And so this is actually perfect. Our next step from this is to take the soil we removed and fill that back in around the plant. We can use a hose at this time to water that soil in and make sure there's no air pockets in there but don't use your foot to compact down in. Use a shovel or use water. Now all of our soil is around the plant. It's been firmed in with the shovel. As you can see, you don't place any soil on top of that root ball. We don't want any of that trunk to be covered with soil. We want those roots to come out right into it. Now because there are a little bit of exposed roots, we can now take our mulch and put that around the plant. We could put just a tiny bit over these exposed roots as long as it doesn't touch the trunk of the plant. We want that trunk open, but then that mulch will help conserve moisture. Your final step with this is to put water directly into this root ball and follow those guidelines for appropriate watering when it's until establishment and even after for the first couple of years.